the distance you can see the California Lighthouse, which is located on the north end of the island, approximately two or three miles from the Holiday Inn. The very first statement that the suspects gave, which was deep packs of tea and yarn, they said that they left Carlos and Charlie's, traveled up LG Boulevard. They said that uh, Natalie wanted to see the sharks, the lighthouse. The story goes that they uh, came around the lighthouse, circled around, didn't get out of the vehicle or anything like that, and then, then proceeded back towards the fishermen's huts and the Holiday Inn. You know, what really got me was the fact that they started changing their story. The very first statement they gave, well, there were some discrepancies in it, and they still didn't consider them suspects. Why would someone that's gone to a bar on their last night all of a sudden decide they want to go and see the lighthouse in the middle of the night and see sharks? It just doesn't, doesn't really make sense to me. I was uh, extremely stressed out. I knew when I left Meridian, Mississippi, that uh, it was two days in it, and no sightings of Natalie, and, and I feared for the worst. And, um, you know, it was very tough. A lot of the island mentality was, was that uh, she couldn't be dead, she's gotta be alive. And, you know, common sense will tell you that uh, 24, 48 hours and no one's been sighted, it's not a good looking situation. And, uh, you know, I'll let Beth, and her group searched the crack houses and I'll search where I think that they've thrown the body. So and that's what we did. The uh, first search team happened here. About 30 volunteers from the Holiday Inn who wanted to help. We staged at uh, right at the base of the lighthouse. Uh, we overlooked the area back towards the sand dunes and started walking through the sand dunes to see if we could find Natalie. Right over here where these rocks are located, that's a popular hangout point for teenagers at night. The night that we came up here and scoped out this area, we saw vehicles still down there parked and partying. And before we started uh, transversing this hill down towards the sand dunes, a police vehicle uh, with two uniformed officers sped down through here, raced across uh, some of these roads, and I don't know what they were doing, and I never ever got an answer about it but they positioned the vehicle just behind one of those big rocks, searched around the rocks a little bit. They opened the trunk, and, uh, and I couldn't really tell from this vantage point what they were doing, but I knew that they were putting something in the back of the, the police vehicle. They slammed the door and took off. That's another one of those things that stood in the back of my mind is, you know, we're up here getting ready to do a search. They're obviously familiar that we're doing it. What's going on? You know, something's just not right here. But then you think, okay, well, who, who else are you gonna lean on? You know, it's, it's the police. There's no way I could have just sat in a hotel room and twiddle my thumbs. Uh, I, had, I got out every day and, and did something that, uh, process of elimination. We, you know, we've searched these sand dunes. We know she's not here, so let's move on somewhere else. Search that and She's not there, so just keep on. Very brave that you're here right now. Well, we had a lead, and you know, I'm not gonna sit home and think that um, I passed up an opportunity, so um, here I am. And if this doesn't turn out, something else comes up, unless I'm incapacitated, I'll be right back here.